हेलो व्यूअर्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इश्पाक सामून बिदाक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया हिज पावर्स एंड फंक्शंस इट इज लेक्चर फॉर क्लास अलेवेंथ स्टूडेंट्स सब्जेक्ट इज पॉलिटिकल साइंस बुक वन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया Uh, topic is president of india powers and functions uh, be with me till the end of the lecture uh, let's get started uh, president of india is the highest office of the land under the constitutional framework of india uh, the office of the president of india has been envisaged as uh, the head of the indian state uh, the first citizen of india Uh, the titular or nominal or de jure head of the union executive and the commander in chief of the indian armed forces uh, the union executive consists of the president of india uh, the vice president of india the prime minister of india the council of ministers and uh, the attorney general of india <laughs> powers and functions of the president of india uh, the powers and the functions of the office of the president of india are described in detail uh, in the sections below uh, number 1 is executive powers of the president of india the executive powers and functions of the president of india are as follows uh, all executive actions of the government of india are formally taken in his name Uh, in his her name uh, he she can make uh, rules uh, specifying the manner in which uh, the orders and other instruments made and executed in his her name shall be authenticated uh, further uh, he she can make rules for more uh, convenient transactions of business of the union government and allocation of the said business among the ministers uh, he she appoints the prime minister and the other ministers uh, and they hold office during his pleasure uh, during his her pleasure he she appoints the governors of states the attorney general of india the comptroller and auditor general of india the chief election commissioner and other election commissioners the chairman and members of the union public service commission the chairman and members of the finance uh, commission and uh, so on uh, he she can uh, seek any information relating to the administration of uh, affairs of the union and proposals for legislation from the prime minister he she can require the prime minister to submit for consideration of the council of ministers uh, any matter on which a decision has been taken by a minister but which has not been considered by the council uh, he she can appoint a commission to investigate the conditions of backward classes he she can appoint an interstate council to promote center state and interstate cooperation he she directly administers the union territories through administrators appointed by him or her he she can declare any area as a scheduled area and has powers with respect to the administration of scheduled areas uh, and tribal areas uh, legislative powers of the president of india the president of india uh, uh, the president of india as an integral part of the parliament of india uh, yields the following legislative powers he she can summon or produce the parliament and dissolve the lok sabha he she can also summon a joint sitting of both the houses of parliament which is prescribed over by a speaker of the lok sabha he she can address the parliament uh, at the commencement of the first session uh, after each general election and the first session of each year he, he she can send messages to the houses of parliament whether with respect to a bill pending uh, in the parliament or uh, otherwise 
financial powers of president of india the financial powers and functions of the president uh, are listed below uh, money bills can be introduced in the parliament only with his prior recommendations uh, he she causes to be laid before the parliament the annual financial statement the union budget no demand for a grant can be made except on his recommendation uh, he she can make advances out of the contingency fund of india to meet any unforeseen expenditure he she constitutes a finance commission every five year to recommend the uh, distribution of uh, revenue between uh, uh, the center and uh, the states uh so revenue between the cents and the states uh, recommended by uh, president uh, further uh, judicial powers of president of india the judicial powers and functions of the president of india are uh, he she appoints the chief justice and the judges of the supreme court and high courts he she can seek advice uh, from the supreme court or any question of law or fact uh, the advice tendered by the supreme court is not binding on the president uh, he can grant pardon, reprieve, or respite, and remission of punishment, or suspend, remit, or commute the sentence of any person convicted of any offence. In all cases where the punishment or sentence is by a court martial, in all cases where punishment or sentence is for an offence against a union law, in all cases where the sentence is a sentence of death. Uh, diplomatic powers of president of india the diplomatic powers and functions of the president are uh, the international treaties and agreements are negotiated and concluded on behalf of the president however they are subject to the approval of uh, parliament uh, he represents india in international forms and affairs and sends and receives diplomats like ambassadors uh, high commissioners and so on Military powers of President of India. The military powers and functions of the President are as follows. He she is the Supreme Commander of the Defence Force of India. He she appoints the Chiefs of the Army, Navy and Air Force. He she can declare war or conclude peace subject to the approval of Parliament. Emergency powers of President of India. The President is empowered to declare three types of emergencies. National emergency under Article 352. Uh, uh, when uh, he feels that country is under threat internally or externally, he can proclaim emergency under Article 352. Uh, President's rule under Article 356 and 365 in state, it is also known as state uh, uh, emergency. If he feels the government of state is not uh, working in accordance with the constitution, uh, he can dissolve the state assembly a financial emergency under article 360 if he feels that uh, the situation has arisen by by the uh, emergency is to be declared uh, if uh, the economical situation has uh, uh, fallen down a veto power of president of india article uh, 111 of 111 and article 201 of the constitution grant the president of india uh, uh, a veto powers a bill passed by the parliament and the state legislature respectively the following types of veto powers absolute veto it refers to the power of the president to withhold his assent to a bill presented to it suspension veto it refers to the power of the president to return a bill if it is not a money bill for reconsideration by the parliament or the concerned state legislatures. Pocket veto, it refers to the power of the president to neither re ratify nor reject uh, nor return the bill, but simply keep the bill pending for an indefinite period. Uh, with this, uh, another is ordinance making power of the president. Article 123 of the Constitution empowers the president to promulgate ordinance during the recess of parliament 
pardoning power of the president of india under article 72 of the indian constitution it empowers the president to grant pardon uh, commutation remission respite and prior to persons who have been tried and convicted of any offense in all cases where the punishment or sentence is for an offense against a union law punishment or sentence is by a court martial military court a sentence is a sentence of death so with this uh, we have concluded uh, today's video lecture will be coming soon if you talk to, to us whatsapp number is visible on screen email id is visible on screen uh, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you we'll meet soon thanks allah hafiz